Good morning, everybody. Hello, I'm Rachel. I work for Sky. And um, some of my colleagues are also here to join us today in this morning's talk. So if we just move on to our next slide. Great. So thanks so much, Poonam. So hi, good morning, everybody. I'm Rachel. You can see me there on the first slide. I look after the early careers team here at Sky. So it's really nice to be here to talk to you all this morning. I'm going to hand over to my colleagues who are also going to do a quick introduction. Morning, everyone. I'll start as well. Um, I'm Poonam Chopra, Early Careers Strategy Manager. Um, also work for Sky and I manage the product team. So we essentially are responsible for designing all of our great programs. So really great to be here with you all today. I'll hand over to Amrit. Hi everyone, my name is Amrit. I'm part of the Content Academy and working with Sky News as a junior journalist right now, started in October. I'm really looking forward to this session and sharing my experience and some tips and hints about the recruitment process. I'm Matty and I'm in the same role as Amrit but in Sky Studios under the Content Academy Ignite. And I also started in October, so I'm excited to talk about the role. Great, thank you team. All right, awesome. So we're going to start with a quick video. It's about two minutes long. So my colleague Poonan's going to hit go on that and then we'll talk to you in a second. It's really hard to say one thing. I love Sky. Take it away! Sky is inclusive, energetic, vibrant, creative. I would say accepting, lively, dynamic, game changer, forward thinking. I believe in progress. Innovative, exciting, this is just getting interesting. There's a volume of different avenues that you can go down. There's so much in that sky umbrella. You never know where your career's going to go. It's fun, it's bright, it's vibrant. It's the Willy Wonka factory. Fantastic. Check these out. Here we go. There's just nowhere that does it like we do. We're market leaders, we're not followers. We're fans as well as staff. My thing is Sky Cinema. <laughs> Original drama, mobile TV, broadband, action thrillers, horrors, sci fi. In terms of quality productions, we're smashing them out of the park. My God, you're good. It doesn't stop there. Not only are we making great TV, we're a very collaborative company with a lot of different nationalities. They look at you on what you can do, not what you look like. Just being who you are. We are a big family to new friends. I love the challenge of going, I'm going to fix that. We are problem solvers. You're trusted to make the right decision. Autonomy. I am here for one very simple reason. Free Sky. <laughs> <laughs> the environment and local communities are very important to us. That is really something that makes Sky special. It gives me a sense of pride. They have shot it again. This culture of being forward thinking. I really like dynamic atmospheres. Live on that progression. It makes me feel wow. If you've got that mentality, you naturally gravitate towards somewhere like Sky. I love talking about my job to other people because it's so much more than I ever thought it would be. If you have the skills we're looking for. That's all that matters to us. It's more than just a job. It ain't a job. I do this for nothing. Cut that out. Great. Thanks, Poonam. I hope you'll all agree it's a pretty awesome video intro to Sky. It's really strange actually presenting to people that you can't see. So um, hopefully you can follow us all right. And if there's anything that you guys want to um, just stop me at any point if you want to just drop something in the chat and then we'll answer those questions at the end. So, um, so it's really, really nice to be here to talk to you today a little bit about Sky. Um, we didn't want to go into too much detail around Sky as a business. We thought we'd bring it to life through the video clip. And as you can see in there, hopefully there's loads of loads of information and content that you can relate to. You may have seen some of the TV shows uh, that we're producing. So there's some, just so much stuff going on across Sky. So as you can see here, we are a leading media and entertainment company, if you don't know, know about us already. And we're part of the Comcast NBCU family. So we are a huge global business. We connect over 23 million customers. And maybe some of you will have seen our latest product, which is Sky Glass, which is the awesome, cool, all-in, built-in um, new TV. And if you haven't, do take a look at that and uh, find out a bit more about Sky Glass. And if you're lucky enough to get that at some point in the future, I can tell you from, from my personal experience, it's a really, really awesome product. So really proud of that as our kind of new product launch recently. So we're going to move into a little bit about Content Academy. So I think Poonam's going to just jump to the next slide. So 
Just to set some context, so Sky offers a number of early talent programs. And one of our newest is actually Content Academy, which is the one we're going to focus on today. And if you look at our careers site, you'll see lots of information about all of the different programs that we operate across Sky. And we're really proud that we hire in about 500 um, early talent people each year. And that's across multiple different programs. So that's graduate programs, apprenticeships, internships, etc. Now, the Content Academy is slightly different. And as I say, we launched this last year. And we're really excited by this because it operates across all of these four areas that you can see on this slide. So when we talk about content, it, we, we're talking about Sky Studios, Sky News, Sky Sports and content. So I call it kind of the core areas across Sky. And we launched our first content academy, which is why we've got two of my colleagues here to talk to you about their experiences today. And we launched that last year and we hired 24 people onto this programme and these are school leavers and graduates. So there are opportunities across both of those spaces and across all of those different areas that we've talked about here. Um, really excited by this programme. We uh, we're currently offering a 12 month opportunity and then our aspiration is that people in that programme will stay with Sky for the long term and we'll look to find you know, permanent homes for our people who will sort of roll off the programme after their 12 months. We offer rotations, which you'll hear a little bit more about in a second from the guys. Um, so yeah, we're really, really excited to have launched this programme and be running it again this year. So we're going to talk to you and focus with you today on that particular programme of work. All right, so I think we'll move on, if that's okay, Poonam. OK, so I'm going to hand over to I think Amrit's going to go first and give you a little bit of insight into his experience as one of our Content Academy cohort. Amrit, can I hand over? Hi, everyone. My name is Amrit Singh Man. I am working at Sky News right now as part of the Content Academy program. My title is Junior Journalist. Um, it's great to see all of you here today. This is exactly what I was doing, joining webinars and sessions to get as much information and knowledge about this program. And it really did help me. So my advice to you all would be to keep note of any hints and tips I've given you, because um, I know for, for me personally, it went a long way uh, with my application. I'm going to try to be as helpful as possible, but if there are any questions, feel free to drop them down. And then I can also share my LinkedIn or uh, social media at the end, and then also happy for you to reach out to me personally. So firstly, why have I chosen to, what, why did I choose to apply for this program? Why, why Content Academy? I was lucky enough, I wouldn't say lucky, I worked very hard actually to be given offers from other broadcasters, uh, ITV News and BBC. So I had three very strong offers on the table. But what made this program so unique was the design. There is simply no other program like it where I'm going into rotations. And by the end of this year, I will have, ex have experience in every single department. And that's something you very rarely get. I am walking around the newsroom um, simply, for example, in the last week, I was going to some people who have been here for a few years and they don't know some of the people or some of the departments which I've been to in the last two months. And that really, you know, that's volume because what I'm able to cover in the year is going to be so vital and it's given me that intensive and in-depth learning experience because I'm very young and I've already got my aspirations. But what this year will do is give me a good understanding of how Sky News works, you know, what department does, what they're in charge of. And then by then I'll have a good understanding of what, what further, you know, what I need to do. Another reason why I chose, chose Sky was simply because of the company. It is a fantastic company to be part of. Uh, that video showed it. Um, and one thing I've kind of seen and, you know, through my experience in the past few months is Sky really do like to invest in young people. And that is, that is true because there are people who have been with Sky News for 30 plus years from a young age. And that's exactly what this program is for. It's to get us in early, make a good impression, hopefully, and then keep us in. There's no guarantee for us to stay on. Um, something that I asked my manager early on was, what can you tell me? Will I be staying on? And, and she said, work hard. And there's a reason why we've taken you on. And she's just given me a hint there that work hard, do a good job, and we're going to keep you on. And that, that's really vital because you don't really want to be left with those questions in mind, uh, will I be dropped off? So Sky, do think about your future and their main aim is to invest in you young 
and hope you have a long and successful career. Moving on to my experience um, with the program so far, it's only been three months. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, you've probably heard the saying, no two days are the same. Um, but what the Content Academy program does, it takes this whole cliche to a whole nother level. Just to give you a bit of context, just in this month, I will be on the road with a camera operator in week one. Um, for my second week, I'll be with the climate show, so rotating to the climate show. Uh, on my third week, I will be shadowing a reporter and correspondent so that will be on the road going around following them. Um, and then on the fourth, uh, the final week of my rotation uh, in the month, I'll be revisiting uh, anywhere in the department. And that's something I think is fantastic because what job really allows you to have that power to choose where you want to go um, it is very unique. And that's the whole program and, and the whole reason why I chose this. Um, another thing I think which is quite cool uh, and, my, and my experience, I have aspirations to become a reporter, first of all. I shared that on my social media um, and it's really allowed me to create a personal brand for myself, which is key. Um, and it's really worked out for me because Sky is such a fantastic company. Um, by sharing my posts on LinkedIn, on my Instagram, I've created this sort of audience and, and it's had a very great response. Um, it's been very overwhelming. Uh, just to give you an, an example, um, two weeks ago, I was sent a package to, to the office. It had my name on it um, and it was massive. I, I thought it was the new Sky Glass. Um, it was it was very big. It was a TV, and I was just, I, I knew I didn't order anything, so I opened it up thinking it was a new Sky Glass. And it turned out to be a massive portrait package um, of of it was a photo, and it was gifted um, by by an external company who were inspired by my story. Um, and that 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 package itself was gifted by Matt Hancock, um, who is you know a former MP. He was inspired by my story. Um, what I'm trying to say here is. It's because of companies like Sky, who are mainstream, they were able to get me onto these platforms. And now all I've got to do is really work hard and, and go for it because I've got everything. Uh, I've got all of the facilities, I've got all of the resources uh, and the team are fantastic. So um, that personal brand uh, side of it is pretty good as well. Something the early quiz team have done, they've, they've provided us external um, training by um, I, I believe Smarty Train, who are external training providers, they work on our personal, for, for example, emotional tel intelligence, key parts of our development. So that's not something, we're not just working within our um, departments, it's something on the side to improve, um, you know, we're very young, so it's, we're doing alongside. Uh, we've got our mentors, so within Sky News, I have my mentor who I'm having a weekly check-ins with, um, and I'm getting that you know, one-to-one -one experience. And as a person who's young and new, I feel very welcome and that's exactly what I need. Now, some hints and tips um, for the recruitment process. A lot of people might say, get your application in early. Yes, I agree to some extent, but at the same time, you really want to be working on it um, as much as possible. Uh, my advice to you would be, as soon as the dead, as soon as the, it's live, the application is out, start working on it straight away. I remember I had many sleepless nights uh, working on this guy, uh, this whole pr process with Sky because it was one of the most demanding. Um, and what you want to do is put all of your effort in, literally every minute you have alongside your studies, if you're, if you're still studying, spend your time on it because once you've submitted it, you know you have that feeling that you've tried your best and there's nothing else you can do about it. Um, a tip I would give you all is to use your networks. We're in, living in this era right now where we can easily access people through LinkedIn, through social medias. What I did was I connected with a bunch of Sky News employees who are currently my employees. Um, I asked them some questions. I didn't send them the answer. I just said, what is your advice on tackling this question, for example, or what is a Sky News culture like? And then what I did from that, I, I incorporated it to my, in, within my answers. And that really helped me. So for example, I asked an employee, could you describe to me what what the culture is like within Sky News? And one of them said it's meritocratic. Meritocratic was a word that I was unaware of, but something I use very often now. Meritocratic is where you work hard and you get rewarded. And that's the sort of culture um, I, I kind of succeed in because as a hard worker, I want to be able to get more opportunities. I mentioned that in my application and, and it did uh, great for me because it showed that I had 
researched the company and I got I got far with it. Um, my piece of advice um, would be, again, to study the company, whether that's the history um, of the company, what, what they've been up to, the values. The values are quite important. They're all on our website. Um, the culture, again, and then also the purpose. Something for you to note down. Um, Sky's purpose is to bring better content and innovation to all of our customers, um, to better connect them to more of what we, um, what more of what they love to do. Um, so incorporating that answer to to your um, whole application. So whether that's the online application, the video interview, the assessment center, it shows that you've gone a, gone above and beyond, and that's the sort of um, that's what you want to show to 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 the application. That's what what you want to show that you've gone above and beyond, and you're different. Um, so that that is my advice. I'm happy for all of you to ask any questions to me, um, whether that's once the application is out, ask any questions with that. My LinkedIn is Amit Singh Man. Um, and yeah, I feel like I've covered most of the things. It's a fantastic opportunity for all of you to get involved. Um, everything that's been advertised on the program has been what it's like. Um, it's not something they use for marketing. Um, it's honestly a great rotations. And by the end of this year, um, I'm going to be in a great position. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to now hand on to my colleague, Matty, who is in a whole different department. Thanks, so yeah, I'm on the same scheme, but in Sky Studios, which is the original uh, content arm of Sky. Um, and I think initially talking about what made me want to apply, it is literally just Sky Studios content. I absolutely love Sky's comedy shows like Breeders, Brassic, Bloods, Two Weeks to Live, and then the drama side you've got, I Hate Susie, Chernobyl, all amazing shows. And personally, as someone that's interested in especially scripted content, I watch Sky's shows and I think there's just such a bold, innovative voice behind all of them. Sky doesn't recommission really things that are sort of what you've seen before or what's doing well on other broadcasters. I think they truly make stuff that's unique and that is new and pushing the boundaries. So for me initially, why I was attracted to Sky was the content. And also, similar to what Amrit said, is that the scheme is so different from what other broadcasters offer. I don't think there's anyone else that offers this kind of experience where you get to rotate across lots of different departments and learn about areas that you wouldn't have any experience in or any knowledge of without this scheme. So for example, with me, I've rotated between music and virtual production as my first two rotations. And I don't come from a music or virtual production background, but yeah, I've got to learn and engross myself in those two areas and find out all this information that I never would have been able to on any other scheme. Uh, so yeah, Sky's content and how unique the scheme is is definitely what attracted to me at first. And also Sky's values, I think, as Amrit's mentioned, like Sky is an incredibly responsible business. It's when you look at sustainability, it's leading the way. So it wants to be net zero by 2030. All of Sky's original commissions have to be Albert certified. So they have to be carbon neutral and you have to assess throughout all stage production, the impact that it's having. And that really appealed to me. And also Elstree is uh, coming, which is going to be the most sustainable film studio um, with 13 sound stages. So there's so much exciting stuff about Sky that attracted me. And now I'm in the role. Uh, it really is exactly what I wanted to be, wanted it to be when I applied and more. I've, uh, when I've been in music, I've got to learn about commercial music licensing, learning about how tracks are used uh, across advertisement in for Sky's products, services, and content, how it's used in shows, how you negotiate contracts and budget uh, commercial music, and the logistics of that. I've also learned about Sky's in-house production library, Satvi, which is... Um, similar to other production libraries, but a lot of the music is specially commissioned for Sky Shows. So I got to repackage different soundtracks, like the soundtrack from I Hate Susie onto the production library and things like that. I just would have had no experience of, but I've got to learn on the job and uh, really get stuck in with that. And then now I'm in virtual production, which is quite difficult to explain. If you've heard of uh, like The Mandalorian, it's probably the biggest production that's used at it's an alternative to green screen, where rather than using green screen, you use um, basically a very, very high resolution LED volume. 
that goes around the sound stage and you can put any imagery, worlds, objects, landmarks onto that. Uh, and it means you can effectively create these amazing sets from virtually nothing and you can change your uh, your scenery like in seconds at the click of a button. So that's an area of sky that I'm learning about at the moment. Uh, so my advice for if you're applying is similar to Amr, I think definitely like as soon as it comes out, uh, put the time in and don't rush it. Don't try and get it done as quick as possible and just click the apply button. Really put the time in and develop the application as much as you can. Maybe show it to uh, some people you trust. Like when I did mine, I showed it to my college tutor, get a little bit of feedback and advice on what he thought my uh, writing came across as and how I could improve it. And also, yeah, that you can reach out to people at Sky, ask some questions and get to know um, some people that are on the scheme at the moment and maybe what they've done. Uh, and also, like, I think just doing your research, understanding all about Sky, because it's, it's such a massive company with so many different arms, understand the products we make, the content, Sky's values, and understand how that applies to you personally. Don't just think about... Um, kind of facts and statistics really think about like what are you interested in how does that connect to sky and how is sky going to help you along your journey and with your what you want to get into and also finally i think just be yourself with the application and throughout the application process don't try and be something you're not or pretend to be something you think that sky wants just be yourself and think about how you apply to sky and its products and values uh, I'm going to hand over to Poonam, who's going to talk more about the Content Academy. Brilliant. Thank you so much, uh, Amrit and Matty. That was really, really great. It's always worthwhile hearing from those that are on the program, right? First-hand experience. So thanks so much for sharing uh, your experience. Um, so you've heard um, a little bit about Sky, you've heard about the program and the experience of those on the program. And so I guess I guess the sort of last piece for us is if you're interested in, and, and sort of loved what you've heard and you're really keen to find out more, um, the you can see um, our Early Careers website, um, which is, is effectively how you can find out even more information about the program um, and where you need to go to apply. So we're not open um, for applications just yet. Um, we will be launching the program at the end of March, but what you can do at the moment is absolutely uh, go onto the, the website. And as Amra and Matty said, is, is do, re do, do your research. Um, and also you can register your interest in the program. So again, if you've, if you've enjoyed what you've heard, there's an opportunity to sort of click and register for, for more information. And as soon as we are live, um, you know, we'll obviously we'll share those details with you. Um, again, sort of, you know, we would um, highly recommend doing your research on, on Sky as, as a whole. So you had, you had some snippets just today about Sky as an organization, but the more research that you can do, the more it will help with your application and then the subsequent sort of assessment process and assessment centers um, there on after. So would really urge you to, to have a look at these sites. Um, you know, you've got a couple of months, yeah, until we're live. Um, and then similar to what Amrit and Matty said around when we, when we are open uh, for applications, um, don't rush to apply necessarily. I completely agree with that point, actually, because um, what we run is is um, explore Sky events. So what we call insight events. Um, and so, again, you know, once you've registered your, your interest, we'll share with you exactly when those events will be happening. Um, and that's a, another opportunity for you to hear more about the program um, and to help you make that informed decision as well, because you'll get the opportunity to hear from um, the recruitment team, um, the people actually within the business as well. So a really great chance to um, help inform your decision before applying. Um, so, yeah, so that was just a little bit around sort of um, when you can expect the applications to open and then how to, to look out for uh, more information on those. So that's um, pretty much everything that we wanted to share with you um, and really keen to give you the opportunity to ask some questions um, and just, just say thank you, obviously, for, for listening um, and, yeah, sort of take it back to, to yourselves if you've got any questions. I'm going to stop sharing because I actually can't see 
um, any questions that have come through. So bear with while I just stop Don't sharing worry. my screen. Yeah, that's fine, Poonam. Um, I can pick up on a couple while you're doing that. So thank you all thank for you. Um, for listening to us. And thank you, Amrit and Matty, for your awesome overview around your experiences. Just to bring to life a couple of things that the, that the, the, the guys were talking about. So Matty shared with me recently, one of the things he enjoyed about the assessment process the most was that he didn't have to build or um, upload a CV. So that's worth knowing, right, Matty? I don't know if you wanted to just share that quickly. Yeah, that's a great point. I think that's, again, something that sets it apart from other similar schemes, is that it's based more, without giving too much away, it's based too, uh, mostly on sort of how your current experience relates to sort of how you'll be in the future. And that doesn't necessarily have to be in TV. It can be about like how what you've done in other areas relates to the skill sets that you need. And I think what I love is that with the program that me armor on is aimed at uh, school leavers, people that don't have a degree. So it's not trying to send a CV and expect you to have all this experience that you maybe haven't had because you've just left school and on paper you maybe don't look as uh, attractive as you should do. And I think it's so much better about being able just to uh, write about what your skills are without having to be like, I've had this credit, I've worked for four years as a runner, I've done this, I've done this. I think it's a way better way of doing it. <laughs> Thanks, Matty. So we've designed the assessment centre to be really relevant to the roles. So you would feel that if you applied and you went through our assessment process. So thanks, Matty. I thought that was worth just shouting out. Um, I have seen a couple of questions come through. One I can answer. So um, all of our Content Academy roles are based in Osterley, which is our HQ. And if you go onto our careers pages, you'll see a virtual experience of our campus, which is actually really worth looking at because you can sort of zoom in and look at all the different facilities that we have across that campus, which is, as I say, absolutely massive. It's a little bit like being at an airport, I must say, um, but it's an absolutely awesome, awesome campus. And we have everything on site that you could possibly imagine and need everything from Waitrose to a gym to a nail bar and multiple restaurants. It's just an awesome, awesome place to be. Um, I think there's a couple of questions in here, which Poonam, I think maybe you yeah, wanted to pick up absolutely. on. Absolutely. about age limit in yeah. terms of applying. For sure. And just to go back, sorry, just to add to your, your point, Rachel, around the locations, um, we've got the new Elstree Studios opportunities as well going live this year. I think Matty might have mentioned those. So we didn't have those previously um, last year. It's a brand new facility. Really, really exciting. So we will have a handful of roles at the Elstree Studios as well. So do check out um, more about Elstree. I'm sure if you just Google, there's lots of information about, about Elstree. Um, in terms of age limits, so for our school leavers um, opportunities, you need to be 18 um, at the point that you start with us. So by sort of September 2022, you need to be um, 18 and above. And then in terms of the graduate stream, um, just a recent graduate is, is sort of the requirement. So um, no, no particular age limit on, on that stream. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to have a look if there's any other questions. A lot of them are aimed at um, linking in with you, Amrit and Matty, uh, through your socials, which is great. And thanks for offering to follow up any on any questions that anyone has. I've got um, one while you're scrolling around the after the 12 months. So I know that Amrit alluded to it. So our intent and our aspiration is that post program, all of our content academy will stay at Sky. Sky is absolutely enormous. Um, and so there are plenty of opportunities at that kind of early stage of career. And to Matty's point and Amrit's point, it really is about working hard, doing well. And we will give you feedback and support on program as well. So um, Amrit talked about the support and care that we will give to you if you're successful on program. And so also just to build on that, you would have a two sort of formal day induction and onboarding process, and then you would be supported and um, given lots and lots of tools and um, tips and guides and advice from your line manager, as well as a mentor and a buddy, loads and loads of resources to wrap around you on the program itself. And then, yeah, as I say, really, it's about performing well and you'll get feedback from your manager around how you're performing so that you can continue to evolve that. And our hope, because it's a big investment for us, is that you will stay at Sky. And so, as I say, there are opportunities there. It's really then down to you as the individual to to 
do a great job, you know, exceed in, in all of the all the tasks and jobs and things that we are giving you on the programme. And yeah, we will absolutely support you to find opportunities. And that's one of the things that our team will do is start to signpost those opportunities as we sort of come towards the end of the programme of that 12 months. So I hope that answers that one. Uh, Poonam, have you seen any other questions? Um, I think they're duplicates. I hopefully you're answering them as we're going. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to call out, I guess, is um, it's just a slight variation in, in the uh, program design. So Matty and Amrit are on the sort of school lever arm, which is where we have um, sort of four to five rotations. And then with the sort of graduate stream, we actually have um, pairings. So what we've done is worked with the business to identify what are the best um, pairings within each of those departments. And so you'll do two six month rotations. Um, again, rotations are super valuable, as you've heard from Matty and Amrit, but they're slightly longer rotations, um, just because of the way that we've designed the program. So just a slight variation, um, but still a a great opportunity to experience um, and get exposure to different elements of uh, of the department. Um, I, th I think uh, there's a there's a question about camera rolls at Elstree. Um, do you know, do we have that detail yet, Elst um, on Elstree? Um, we're still waiting. We're still sort of working through some of that finer detail. Um, so what I would say is definitely register your interest on the website. And then as soon as there's more information, whether that's on the website or an actual event that we'll invite you to to hear more about it, I think that would be the best thing to do with just working. As we say, it's, it's still in the sort of design stages. So um, I'd, I'd say, yeah, have a look at the website and register your interest to find out more on that. I think I hope we've answered most of the questions and then to Pianam's point just keep looking at our careers pages because at the point that we launch um, so you can register anyway register your interest but at the point that we launch then we'll give you a lot more information and content around the program and obviously then we'll build in Elstree as well so that you'll be able to see the specifics around those roles that we will offer at Elstree so we're still sort of formu formulizing the content that, that sits in Elstree it's all still in very much build stage um, how can we register interest on our website? I think Poonam, you shared mm -hmm. the link on that. So just, yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Someone's just put the link in. Um, are there any other? Go on, I've sorry, seen one, um, yeah, a great question around um, uh, from Chris, Christelle. I was wondering what you look for in a candidate. Really great question. And I think Matty and Amrit sort of touched on this, but just to add to that, um, I, I would say absolutely, and you can see this from Amrit and Matty, just that passion. I think we really look for people that are passionate about, about Sky as an organisation, about content, um, look for people that are driven and just really sort of, you know, keen to kind of take take the initiative and sort of really lead their own own career. And again, hopefully that's, that's, that's uh, really come apparent through the conversations that um, we've had today with Amrit and Matty. Um, so yeah, I would say I said passion, particularly really, really, you know, for content and for for Sky, for sure. And I think um, have a look again at our at our values. So again, if you look at the Sky corporate site, again, we can share the link um, with you all. But um, you know, have a look at our values. Um, that's something that we're really keen to sort of see how are people aligned to to Sky's values and how and what does that mean for you. Um, so yeah, so ho hopefully that kind of gives you a bit of a a bit of a a, a, a hint or a tip into what we're looking for. Um, There's a question about work experience and placements. So we're focusing to Poonam's point around more explore Sky Insight. Uh, opportunities and events and days as opposed to work experience at the moment um, that's partly due to covid and us being really cautious about you know how much stuff we can do on site um, but all of our programs will be listed on our on our careers pages we also offer apprenticeships as well so you can see content about those on there as well um, hopefully anything else that we've seen oh question for amrit sorry amrit i don't know if you can see that what stands, what stands out to you about you. Sky News compared to other UK news broadcasters? Good question. Uh, there's a few things I would say personally. Um, the thing that sticked out to me most was the diversity side of it. I felt most welcome. Uh, 
when I was throughout the application process actually because as I mentioned I, I was I was applying for uh, the broadcasters I won't name them here um, but what I really felt with Sky is they were accepting me um, and there were some questions around my my diversity and when I was having conversations with I think it was my one-to-one -one interview it wasn't part of the process but just on a personal level we were discussing and I felt felt that you know the company embraces diversity and that's that's what makes for me personally sky news so special because at the time right now with everything that's happened with george floyd um in the past year i feel sky have taken um a new approach when it comes to diversity and i know recently the company have announced some new plans about diversity um some funding i believe um so that that was something that that was quite um you know that was special to me. Um, on a more news perspective, Sky News tried to be as impartial as possible. And, and that's something all news broadcasters try to say, but from, I've experienced it. Every editorial meeting we attend, we, we go with a view that whatever we share needs to be 100% correct. We don't want to have uh, a different angle to it. Our audiences need to um, have correct content coming on TV. Um, so having no sort of different agendas and that's our whole title it's news with no agenda so that, that's something that's quite helpful because if you're working in other broadcasters they might be telling you to do stuff which you might not feel comfortable with so i do feel very comfortable working at sky news because we are an impartial uh, news service thanks for thanks. That, Amrit. Um, I've just jumped into the Q&A and I'm conscious we've, we've only got sort of six or seven minutes, but let's just flip through some of these. So we go live at the end of March um, in terms of experience. So I would say it really depends on there's no kind of level of experience per se that I can say you must have. You must have. It's really about kind of your personal passions and um, what you do in your kind of personal time. And that's relevant then to the roles that you're applying to. So bring that information and bring that experience out in your application process. Um, hopefully we've answered what do you look for in a candidate. We talked about when it's open from March until until we close. We will have a lot of interest, so do make yourself stand out in the best possible way. Um, as we talked about entry level in the north, uh, we we in terms of outside of London, so we are kind of a UK wide business. We do offer apprenticeships nationally, so you might want to have a look at those on our website. Um, Amrit and Matty, are you staying with Sky after 12 months? Well, hopefully they will. And uh, we don't know yet what that looks like because they only joined us in October. So fingers crossed, both of the guys will find a brilliant permanent next next move, next job. Um, any other questions that we want to jump yeah. in on? Um, there's a question around, do you need certain grades to join the scheme? Um, no, you don't. A quick, quick answer there. I think Matty was going to jump in. I just saw a question about virtual production from Jackson. Um, I don't know entirely the details of the scheme, obviously, it comes out March time, of whether virtual production will be involved with that on the next cohort. I was just going to say, if you follow Sky Studios, fairly soon we've got lots of kind of educational content around virtual production coming out about uh, for all in the industry. And also we're collaborating with Screen Skills for more uh, information about how to get into virtual production roles in the future. So definitely look out for that. <laughs> Thanks, Matty. Uh, yes, we accept uh, applications from international students. Uh, oh, opportunities. Where are the opportunities based? We've talked about. Um, it's a question about being unpaid or paid. Absolutely paid. It's paid. Um, <laughs> and the opportunities would start. Um, I think it says when do the programs run so we'd be looking so as we said applications go live end of March and the program itself would start sort of end of September early October is when we'd be needing people to be sort of um, full-time so available full-time. Um, I think there's a question about the word that Amrit used and I think it was meritocracy was that the word you said Amrit? It's meritocratic. Uh, it's not used often. I'm going to type it in. Um, Thank you. It's my advice is not to. I mean, if everyone has it here, it won't be as uh, distinct. But it's a good word to use. Um, my advice is to reach out to new people um, and use your social media and LinkedIn to find out all about the culture. But I will type that in. Uh, is the Creative Access Programme linked with Early Careers? Yes, we work with Creative Access as part of this programme. So yes, that's the link for sure. 
Oh, got a couple of minutes left. Um, question for Amrit. We've talked, we've done that one. I think that's the stands out for Sky News. How likely are you to stay on, guys? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else you want to add. Go on, Matthew. Um, I, I would love to. I mean, one thing you mentioned earlier about people moving around Sky a lot, there's sort of quite a lot, because it's such a massive company, you, when you speak to people, their careers often started in the certain era and then moved in different areas and things like that. So I think even if like there aren't necessary roles in studios, I'm definitely going to stay at Sky in some form wherever um, I might move or see, see what the opportunities are out there. But yeah, definitely want to stay at Sky. <laughs> Thanks, Matty. There's a question around Sky Sports. Um, do early careers cater for Sky Sports? Absolutely, it's one of the four streams within Content Academy. So um, again, if you have a look at the website, we've sort of got information under each under each bucket. Um, but yeah, absolutely, there are opportunities within Sky Sports. Um, whether that's through early careers, obviously, if you're thinking about Sky Sports directly, then I would go to sort of workforsky.com where you could find out more information about sort of Sky Sports more broadly. Um, are there any others? Uh, I'm having a quick, quick look. I, I hope I'm hoping we've covered most of them. I think we have. Uh, someone's asked about L Street. So it's L Street Studios. So E L S T R E E. So if you Google that, you'll find out more about L Street Studios. It's a separate um, location to Osterley. I think it's in Herefordshire, actually. Mm -hmm. I want to say that, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's a brand new studios that we're building. It's, we're really, really excited about it. So do do some research about that and you'll see opportunities dropping into L Street as and when that, that studio is built. Uh, creative access we've talked about. What is Matty's role called? Mine is Content Academy Ignite and Sky Studios. Uh, so yeah, it's the Ignite, which is the school leader. School leader. So it's not, it's Ignite is the school leader element and then we have our graduates as well. So, so graduates and school leavers are part of Content Academy, so it's a blend. Uh, main locations for Sky in the UK, I've talked about that. So primarily Osterley, but then we're also um, national, so there are other opportunities, but more across our uh, customer services group. I think we've probably answered all the questions, which is pretty much bang up on time. So from my side, thank you for listening. Thank you for my team for sharing their experiences. Thank you, Poonam. Um, and thank you all for your questions. It was great to interact with you. I'm sorry we can't see you. Um, but thank you for listening. If you've got any follow-up questions, as we say, keep an eye on our website, register your interest. And, uh, and we hope that some of you apply to Content Academy in the future and wish you all the very best.